Okay guys, my sister always telling me, you know so much about turtles and turtles, right? So I'm getting to learn more and more about turtles, right? Not exactly different turtles, but my turtle in particular, you know? So I learned a lot of stuff about my turtle, right? So he have, before he never had a personality, right? But now as he growing like bigger and bigger, right? I think I had him like 10, 11 years now. So having him for 10 or 11 years now, right? I know like what do he like and what he don't like. He's very spoiled at this point of his life, right? Like certain like foods I give him, like it could be a pebbles, right? And I just noticed like sometimes he don't eat the pebbles anymore, right? So I was like, you know what? Let's go get him a different brand of food, right? So I gave him like um, minnows, fishes, you know? And goldfishes, right? So he started to eat those, right? And I was like, he really likes fishes, right? I always thought he can have like friends, but apparently he wanted to eat them, right? So I gave him that, and once in a while I give him like a treat. So it was a minnow or a goldfish, right? So I just learned he loved fishes, you know? I did not know that, right? So sometimes I give him like um, liver. And sometimes I give him like, um, what's it called? Crickets. I never gave him a crockroach before. Because, um, I don't know if he would eat it or not, you know. So, I, oh yeah. And I gave him, um, I think it was, um, what's those, um, those little worms called? I can't remember but you usually I give him those right so usually when he don't want to eat his food I give him like little treats right little treats to me is like fishes or like other foods you know like um bananas and that's the only thing he likes to eat bananas and carrots chopped up carrots and um I think corn right sometimes he don't like to eat corn or the carrots sometimes so his favorite treat is to get um what I always give him is banana right he'll he'll just sit there and eat the banana you know first he'll start sniffing it you know and then he start moving his hand like this right like he's trying to mate or something right so he usually do that and then he starts sniffing the food right meaning the banana right I try to give him apple and other fruits he don't like none of them I even gave him a strawberry you know. And he bit into it, but he didn't swallow it, you know. So, apparently, his favorite snack or treat, it will be a banana, right? I usually, I, before, when I was in Kissimmee, I usually give him banana, like, almost every day, right? But then he got sick of eating banana all the time, right? That was, like, a treat. And I thought it was healthy, right? He got sick of eating it, right? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like hold it off for a couple of days, you know? So when I came back down here, I started giving it for him a treat, you know? A treat is a banana, you know? I usually give him like, um, I think, I gave him liver. No, I give him kidneys, like, I think it was like two weeks ago, and I didn't thought he would eat it, right? I rinsed it off, because I didn't want no, um, the blood contents into his water right because i just put in clean water for him right so i rinse off it and then gave it to him right i really didn't thought he would eat it apparently i came back the thing was gone right the liver or um kidneys were gone right so i'm starting to give him like little meats here and there you know like when i'm cooking chicken or anything like that or any dinner i'm gonna give him like little pieces of meat here and there right i try not to give him like um like the meat because they have a lot of um grease on it you know i remember when i was giving him hot dogs right it was he was his whole body was so greasy and it was so hard for me to like take away all the grease off his body right so i stopped giving him hot dogs and um chicken so i'm gonna start giving him liver um kidneys and other little um things right and if i could find a little piece of little um heart from like from like the chicken or the fishes i give him i give it to him right so he can eat little organs right so he can get big and strong right 
So I used to give him like crickets before the first time I even gave him crickets. He did not like them. He didn't like the little legs. He didn't like the taste. He didn't like the feel of it, you know. And after a while, I was like, I give him different kind of variety of food, you know. One day it can be like I had like a can full of um, minnows. And I gave him that, right? But it was like salty minnows fish, you know. I don't know where I got it from, but I know I got it online, right? So he didn't like it because it was too, um, it had the texture of like a lot of salt flavor, right? So I tried to rinse it off, but then he didn't want to eat it. And then it was too salty, right? So I, I took out all the salt, right? I rinsed it off and everything, right? So now it's just a plain fish, right? After a while, he started eating it, right? And apparently, I didn't know my turtle is very picky. He's picky, but he would eat it, right? But he won't eat all of it. So, me learning how my turtle eats and how he, like, um, move in life, you know, and what kind of stuff he likes. He don't like no toys. He don't like anything loud. He don't like when you move too fast. Like, I can walk in the room and he gets scared and go into his shell, right? Apparently, that's kind of weird, you know? I always want my turtle to be healthy, you know? He's always healthy. He always walk around and stuff like that. But I want him to learn how to play with toys, right? Apparently, my turtle's kind of weird in a way that he don't like playing with toys. He don't like ball. He don't like nothing. He don't like no toys, right? He will like go to it, but then he gets scared and then back away and then he goes closer and then he tries to sniff it. And if he move his hand too fast, it will drop on the floor and then he gets scared and then start running, right? So usually when those kind of things happen, I'm like trying to ensure him that it's not going to harm or anything like that. Apparently he, he don't care if it harms him or not. So I learn a lot about my turtle, you know, my Pacifical turtle, you know, his real name is um, Nathaniel, you know, my sister named his whole name, and usually I can't remember all of it, but I remember Nathaniel, right, so I was like, I can like teach you guys about the way I teach my turtle what kind of foods he can eat and what kind of foods he don't want to eat because to me he's like a big baby he don't like eating different kind of like vegetables or fruits right it have to be a certain one don't get me wrong he loves grapes oh my god this kid loves grapes he loves his grapes he loves his grapes and his bananas like that's the only thing I can give him what is like vegetable I mean like fruits you know fruits is like I'm trying to like give him more different kind of fruits. I gave him salad one time, right? He bit it and then he spit it out, right? Apparently he didn't like the taste of it because it was maybe too dry. I'm not too sure. I give him like different kind of varieties of foods, you know? Sometimes I give him peas. Sometimes he will eat the peas. Sometimes he won't. It depends on how he's feeling at the time. He don't want to eat it or not. But apparently he do eat some of the, um, the little vegetables and fruits sometimes. Like... If I leave it in his um, container a long, long time, he will eat it. And then if he don't want it, he will just leave it in his container. And then I'll just get the net and just scoop it right out, right? So I guess that's the main thing about how I learn about my my turtle, you know? I don't know anybody. I don't know about any other turtle except my turtle, what I have, because he's unique, you know? And all turtles is unique in his own way. Um, Yeah. If you guys like these kind of stories, how I try to like um, teach him how to eat different kind of fruits or vegetables, I'm going to like maybe put a video in. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'm not too sure. That's only if he eats his fruits or if he eats a new fruit and I'm so excited to record it, then I will like record it, right? Like and subscribe to notifications and I'll see you later. Thumbs up and bye. I really didn't thought he would eat it. Apparently, I came back. The thing was gone, right? The liver or um kidneys were gone right so i'm starting to give him like little meats here and there you know like when i'm cooking chicken or anything like that or any dinner i'm gonna give him like little pieces of meat here and there right i try not to give him like um like the meat because they have a lot of um grease on it you know i remember when i was giving him hot dogs right it was he was his whole body was so greasy and it was so hard for me to like take away all the grease off his body right so, I stopped giving him hot dogs and um, chicken. 
So I'm going to start giving them liver, um, kidneys, and other little um, things, right? And if I can find a little piece of little um, heart from like from like the chicken or the fishes I give them, I give it to them, right? So he can eat little organs, right? So he can get big and strong, right? So I used to give him like crickets. Before, the first time I even gave him crickets, he did not like them. He didn't like the little legs. He didn't like the taste. He didn't like the feel of it, you know? And after a while, I was like, I give him different kind of variety of food, you know? One day, it can be like, I had like a can full of um, minnows. And I gave him that, right? But it was like salty minnows fish, you know? I don't know where I got it from, but I know I got it online, right? So, he didn't like it because it was too, um, it had the texture of, like, a lot of salt flavor, right? So, I tried to rinse it off, but then he didn't want to eat it. And then it was too salty, right? So, I, I took out all the salt, right? I rinsed it off and everything, right? So, now it's just a plain fish, right? After a while, he started eating it, right? And apparently, I didn't know my turtle is very picky. He's picky. But he would eat it, right? But he won't eat all of it. So, me learning how my turtle eats and how he, like, um, move in life, you know, and what kind of stuff he likes. He don't like no toys. He don't like anything loud. He don't like when you move too fast. Like, I can walk in the room and he gets scared and go into his shell, right? Apparently, that's kind of weird, you know? I always want my turtle to be healthy, you know. He's always healthy. He always walk around and stuff like that. But I want him to learn how to play with toys, right? Apparently, my turtle's kind of weird in a way that he don't like playing with toys. He don't like ball. He don't like nothing. He don't like no toys, right? He will, like, go to it, but then he gets scared and then back away. And then he goes closer. And then he tries to sniff it. And if he move his hand too fast, it will drop on the floor and then he gets scared and then start running, right? So usually when those kind of things happen, I'm like trying to ensure him that it's not going to harm or anything like that. Apparently he, he don't care if it harms him or not. So I learned a lot about my turtle, you know, my Pacific turtle, you know, his real name is um, Nathaniel, you know, my sister named his whole name. And usually I can't remember all of it, but I remember Nathaniel, right? So, I was like, I can, like, teach you guys about the way I teach my turtle what kind of foods he can eat and what kind of foods he don't want to eat. Because, to me, he's like a big baby. He don't like eating different kind of, like, vegetables or fruits, right? It'd have to be a certain one. Don't get me wrong, he loves grapes. Oh, my God, this kid loves grapes. He loves his grapes. He loves his grapes and his bananas. Like, that's the only thing I can give him. What is, like, vegetable. I mean, like, fruits, you know. Fruits is, like, I'm trying to, like, give him more different kind of fruits. I gave him salad one time, right? He bit it and then he spit it out, right? Apparently, he didn't like the taste of it because it was maybe too dry. I'm not too sure. I give him, like, different kind of varieties of foods, you know. Sometimes I give him peas. Sometimes he will eat the peas. Sometimes he won't. It depends on how he's feeling at the time. He don't want to eat it or not. But apparently he do eat some of the, um, the little vegetables and fruits. Sometimes. Like, if I leave it in his um, container a long, long time, he will eat it. And then if he don't want it, he will just leave it in his container. And then I'll just get the net and just scoop it right out, right? So, I guess that's the main thing about how I learn about my my turtle, you know. I don't know anybody, I don't know about any other turtle except my turtle, what I have, because he's unique, you know, and all turtles is unique in his own way. Um, yeah, if you guys like these kind of stories, how I try to, like, um, teach him how to eat different kind of fruits or vegetables, I'm going to, like, maybe put a video in, I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I'm not too sure. That's only if he eats his fruits or if he eats a new fruit and I'm so excited to record it, then I will like record it, right? Like and subscribe, turn the notifications and I'll see you later. Thumbs up and bye.